Hey, good morning, good morning to all those who are up and at it and listening to Sports Talk. This morning you are on with Big J. Let's talk. You know what? I, I, I'm very encouraged by new media. Um, go visit DJ Raw Uncut. Um, DJ Raw Uncut, new media, one nation, new media. Check this brother out. He has some very, very great information. And let me tell you what I mean. When I visit his channel, most times it seems like there's information there that he knows before it comes about. If I was a betting man, I would definitely visit his channel because they're all, there's always insight that's conducive to what sports, um, uh, those in sports who need to know. And, and he knows it. He knows it. He knows it. There's another gentleman on there with him called the coach. They're very, very versed in their, opinions about sports but what i want to talk about today is lamello ball i'm going to show you a video on what this gentleman said about lamello before he was drafted and before he even went to the nbl it's it it must be noted that old media has very few individuals who will apologize for their inconsistent and wrong statements about this young man and his family but I want you to listen to the video because it makes a lot of sense where a lot of the narratives come from. All right, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hands in the ball family. I assume if not, the Cliffs notes go like this. The Suns are a story. When they are, we discuss. The rest doesn't interest me. LaMelo Ball announcing he will play professionally in Australia next year in the NBL is an interesting development. I've got to be honest and admit that I'm guilty of viewing him through a lens that discounts him, which doesn't feel very adult of me. But I remember the night I heard some kid at Chino Hills scored 92 in a game, then I saw the video. Oh, he's a 130-pound high school sophomore who cherry picks, doesn't guard anyone, and shoots 40-footers like they're a good idea. Okay, great. Then he stopped playing high school ball entirely to go to Lithuania in part to sell the family shoe brand and the whole thing felt kind of sad. But hey, he's got a lot of Instagram followers. Also, he's growing, as kids do. He has game. Enough that first round is mentioned as a very real possibility. Unlike the European junket, this feels like it will be actual on-the-job training. But what are we talking about here as far as a prospect's concern? As always, Mike Schmidt's opinion is helpful. I went to go see him a few months ago, and. He is a lottery talent. He's every bit of six foot seven. His frame is developing, but there are still some major questions about just his ability to handle adversity, his ability to play in structure, because that's something he's never done really at any level. So I think he's going to be tested in Australia, but from a talent perspective, he deserves to be in the lottery. There's no question. Lotto level talent. But because of the sideshow that comes with this, because there's been so little structure that he's ever had to play in, I don't know how any accurate assessment could be made at this stage of what the market for his services is going to look like. Who knows if he'll even last the year in the NBL? Will he be allowed to be coached? That's often an issue with the family. He's the baby of that family, and he's grown up with a full-fledged circus surrounding him. His oldest brother outgrew it. Perhaps he will as well. He's headed to join him in the NBA, it would appear. As what? Time will tell. <laughs> As what? <laughs> Time will tell. As what? Time will tell. So as you see in watching the video, everything that this major media conglomerate said was inaccurate. Totally, completely. If we watch LaMelo's game now, his apology doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter because, see, here's what happens. When you put information out there to the public and the public gets it, they don't take advantage of the narrative when it apologizes. They're only looking at everything that you said in the beginning. You can apologize. You can come back and try to play it off to save your character, but it doesn't work. This is what you said. So let's dissect it now. LaMelo Ball is one of the top defenders in the rookie category. LaMelo Ball is starting for the Charlotte Hornets, running defense, running offense. He's very, very great. He averages among the top with those rookies in steals. He deflects the ball at least three or four times per game. 
in the passing lanes. It's very difficult to play against him. As seen last night, even though Utah won, LaMelo Ball was a distraction to their offense. So what are you saying? Then when he gets hot, he's on point after sharing the ball and then makes, making sure that he helps in the area where points are needed through facilitating. So what am I saying? Why are all these individuals or why did they have or why was his parents and his father even brought up because they took care of him? That's a sideshow because he's I won't even go there. That's a sideshow because his dad bought him a Lamborghini at 16. So, so wait a minute. You telling me privileged kids who get those things, they're sideshows because that's all he did. He got what his family could afford him and get family gave him what was what was the narrative for what the father desired for his children. So you see what I'm saying? This stuff is really outrageous. And I wanted to show you this morning so you can understand what it is that we who are part of social media see. And this is why we come on to create the right narrative so you can get the right answers to your questions. So as you see, LaMelo Ball now has been just been invited to the all-star game to um, compete in the skills challenge event. Come on. Why does the NBA need him there? Well, if you look at his markability and we go over to Australia, his jersey outsold Steph Curry's. If you look at his media image, he's bigger than Zion Williams, who was the number one pick. Come on. So somewhere along the line, someone created something false and tried to instill it in the understanding of the media. But this young man has came out and shown he's coachable. That was said in Australia that he can play the youngest man to, to um, ever score a triple double <laughs> in all in Australia. Then comes to the States and does the same thing. The youngest to score a triple double. Average is a double-double. Come on. Please either create the right narrative, old media, or don't say nothing at all because you're allowing yourself to look foolish. Hey, before we close, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe. Turn on that bell, um, that bell notification. Also, leave a comment. We will greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.